Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of module pool programming. And our new topic is how we can go for drop down list in case of module pool program. You all know very well whenever we have drop down, yes. Values will be in the form of drop down. We are able to see the values in the form of drop down. So, what I will do firstly, I will show you one demo and we will develop same to same demo. Suppose if I'm running this module pool program, if I will run this module pool program, you can see we have two fields. One is state and one is region. And you can see they are in the form of drop down, drop down. Suppose I'm cell going for state. As of now, I'm able to see three values and they are in the form of drop down, drop down. Now you can see as of now region is blank and it is also in the form of drop down. Suppose I'm selecting the state. Suppose I'm going for Gujarat. Suppose when I selected the state Gujarat, have you seen in the drop down, I'm only able to see the regions which are for state Gujarat. Suppose. From the drop down, I selected Haryana. Suppose, have you seen in the drop down? I'm only able to see the regions which belongs to Haryana. Suppose, if I'm going for third Maharashtra, I'm only able to see the regions which belongs to Maharashtra. So, have you seen based upon the selection of one value? the other column values are changing and we or we will do this thing with the help of drop down and it's a real world you are filling so many online forms whenever you are selecting a country so you are only able to see the states of that country itself so whenever you are going for that country, whenever you are selecting the states of that country, you are only able to see the regions belongs to that particular state. So we are developing same to same kind of requirement. We will go for two fields in the form of drop down based upon the value of one column the value of other column will change and we can understand in a way based upon the selection of value of one column, the values which belong to that column only will display in the another column in the form of drop down. So we will achieve same to same requirement and yes, we will learn so many things into this particular topic. So firstly, what I will do? Firstly, we will create a table. In the table, we will take two columns, one for the state and one for the region. We will maintain that data into that table. Then we will create a module pool program which will help us to achieve this particular requirement. Because see, based upon Maharashtra, these states are coming. It means we need to maintain this data in the table. Then we will write the logic in the program. So firstly, I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will create a table first. So I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will create a table. Suppose I will say ZT, suppose state underscore region. So we are creating a table for state and their respective region. I will go for create. 
I will give some short description to that table. Table for state and region. Now I will take delivery class. Suppose this is our master data table. So I will take the delivery class as A. I will go for display maintenance allowed. Anyways, I am going for a perception that everyone knows how to create a table. Yes, if you don't know, you can refer the ABAP dictionary playlist. Now, in every table we know, the first column will be MANDT, which always, always represents the client number of SAP system. I will take this as a primary key. And the data element for MANDT is MANDT itself. Now, we will go for another column. Uh, what will be the our another column? State. Suppose I will give some data element of the state. Suppose I will say Z D E state, data element for state. Now I will double click and create this data element. You can go by other way also. You can create domains, data element, and you can use in the table after that. Now, I start directly started with the table creation, and I will create the data element and domains from here itself. It's totally your wish how you want to go. You can create domains first, then you can create data elements, and then you can go for table. But the approach I did, I'm going for table. In that table, I will create the data elements. Then I will go for the domain. No problem at all. Now I will double click on the data element. Yes, I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. System is asking, do you want to create data element? Yes, I want to create data element. We'll give the short description to the data element. Suppose I'm saying state. Now I will go for domain. Suppose I will give ZD state. I will double click on the domain. Now system will ask me to create the domain also. See, now from here itself, I'm creating. I will go for create. Now I will give the short description to the domain. Suppose I'm saying state. I will give the data type. Suppose state is character 3. Suppose I will go for character 3. I will go to value range. Now I will give the values. Suppose I will say GUJ stands for Gujarat. Suppose I will say HAR stands for Haryana. I will give for suppose one more state. Suppose I will go for MH. MH stand stands for Maharashtra. I will simply save this domain. I will activate that domain. Now, I will give the label in the data element because we all know data element is all about to provide the descriptions. State. I'll press enter and I will activate this data element also. Now we will go for another column. Yes, state will be the primary key of the table. Now I will go for region. I will go for some data element for the region. 
I will double click and create the data element for the region. Suppose I will say region. Now I will pass the data. I will pass the domain for the region. Suppose I'll say ZD region. I will double click and create this domain. Suppose I will give a region. Now suppose a region is character 50. Now I will simply activate the domain also for the region. I'll go to back button. Now data element is all about the labels. So we will give the label. Suppose region, short, medium, long heading, I will activate the data element also. Now I will take region also as primary key and it is understood able why, why I am taking these two as the primary key. Suppose if I will only take state as the primary key. Suppose state Gujarat, I took Ahmedabad. Now for state Gujarat, I want to take Vadodara also. Now if you will only only take state as the primary key, how you will put another entry for the Gujarat? You cannot put. So it means we need to take these two as the primary key. The combination of these two will be unique. So I will take region also as the primary key. I'll go to technical settings. I will go to yes. Now I will pass the data class as we are going for master data. So I will take AWPL0. Size category, suppose zero. I will save the technical settings. Now I will simply, simply activate the table. And you can see table is activated. So what is the summary of the video up to this level? In this video, we started with a topic how we can go for drop down, how we can display the values in drop down in module pool program. So we took the example that we have two columns. One will be state, another will be region. Both will be in the form of drop down. Whenever we will select a state, the region drop down will only only display the regions belong to that particular state only. So as a part of that, we started with the table creation. Yes, table has two columns. One will be state, another will be region. So we created two domains, two data element. I created the table, then I created the data element and domain. You can go by approach this also. You can create the domains first, then you can use that domain into data element, then you can use the data elements in the table. It is totally your wish how you want to go. In the next video, we will maintain the data in the table, then we will start with the program creation. So that's it in this video. Thank you.